Hey everyone and welcome back to Europa Universalis for Saxony. It is the year 1648 and our Imperial Authority is at 38. It's at least growing steadily now, which is good news. Ansbach also doesn't like us. What's your problem? Oh, you're besieged by enemies. Uh, I think I can improve relations. Yep, a little bit. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, but yeah, we're, we're obviously going to be re-elected. That's not really the issue. In fact, it would even make sense for us to... Um, you are an elector, aren't you? Yeah. I cannot really demand imperial territory. No. It's your claim. It's your claim. Okay, yeah. Well, so we just lost an imperial prince, but it's not really a, that big of a deal. We should have 26 now. Really? Oh, Burgundy joined in. Right, so yeah, no, we're at 27. Makes sense. I might even want to drop my alliance with Hainaut now, because... It's really not all that useful. They're not that powerful. Do we have... We do have royal ties. Hmm. Is there anyone that we might... Oh, the Spirit of Concession in the Commonwealth. Moldavia and Russia. What do you mean Moldavia? How is Moldavia going to get control of the Commonwealth? That's it. That seems insane. But yeah. Okay, we have a free thinker. That's amazing. And we've been insulted by Hamburg. Great. And then Lübeck. Didn't I want to go to war with you? I did. But we don't have a Kaz's belly. Hmm, seems weird. As defender of the faith. Hmm. I guess, yeah, we just need to reform. We need to have more imperial reforms passed. Okay. Have our diplomatic advisor... Yeah, fire him. Why not? And I guess replace him with someone else. Global tariffs. I guess a reputation. Why not? We have the money. Okay, we call diplomat here. We're almost done with our colony and then I'm going to go for... Uh, South Georgia. It's going to be awesome. But for now, I just kind of need manpower. Also, how... How high is... We could seize land. Yeah, I don't think I will. How high is our professionalism? 71%. Plus, we can actually build more troops. What is our... Well, if we had manpower. What's the force limit? Uh, I mean, the... Um, with... Oh, wow, we're actually... Very far away from that. We could double our infantry. The problem is we don't even have the supply for that. It's actually kind of crazy. Yeah, almost done refilling. That's awesome. I wish we had more. Colonialism against Spain. I guess that will be here. Oh, that's over here. Spanish South Africa. Who are you fighting? Kilwa. Okay. Well, have fun. This is still open. Still open for grabs. Just checking. I, I don't even know if we're in range. I hope we are. Uh, actually, I'm pretty sure we are. Would be very strange. If we could go all the way to the Spice Islands, but then we couldn't go to uh, over there. But yeah. Um, this is so strange that you're fighting. Refused military access. I mean, I could give you military access. Why not? Burgundy. Let's improve relations with them. And I need a new advisor. National tax, please. Yeah, we have no inflation. So yeah, truces have ended. I could declare all kinds of wars, but I kind of want some manpower back. And there are the manufactories. Okay, where have they spawned? Printing press. Manufactories in France. Okay, but we should be... Uh, we should get uh, growth here. Have a mill. So, yeah, this is actually growing quite quickly. Textile manufactory. 
Hmm. Oh, wow, this is spreading quickly. Yeah, so I'm not really concerned. Plus, actually, there's one thing I wanted to check. Do we have... Well, if only I knew where, which one this was. State edicts. No. I could go uh, and, you know, it, 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 go for the advancement effort that increases... Um, hmm. That increases the spread of institutions, but I don't think it's necessary. Okay, our colony is almost done, which oh, actually it's going to be taking quite some, quite some time. Um, ignore them. Oh, you know what we can do? We're almost done. Uh, at this point, we can just recall and send because by the time we'll arrive, uh, the other one will be finished. There you go, and that should give us the fifth continent um, to finish our mission. I hope it works that way. Okay, excellent work for local tax increase. I love it. You can recall here. All right, so our manpower is slowly coming back. Our coast has been raided. What? Okay, seems interesting. By Tunis. I don't know which coast they've raided. But yeah, compensate the traders. It's pretty expensive. I'll do it. And we can invest in a new idea. Flexible negotiation, which I believe we will. Sure. Especially now that we have an, a free thinker that will help with ideas. All right. And yeah, I have a lot of diplomats that are currently not doing anything. I guess we can go ahead, build a spy network here. And might as well build one here. A nomad frontier. Powerful hordes on the frontier have been a constant threat to the empire. Okay, the Manchu apparently are proving a problem. Supporting the independence of Mongolia. So, your mandate is tanking. Or well, maybe not. Well, it is. It is. Very good. Well, poor Ming will probably fall apart sometime. Especially once we take over the uh, porcelain trade. The Chinaware trade. It's going to be amazing. Okay, you know what? I think this colony is... Yeah, this is actually going to be timed perfectly. Well, no. We're going to be arriving a little bit early? Eh, who knows? Actually, it could work. Uh, what about this? He wants to elevate his position. Who's this guy? Is that the one I just paid a lot of money for? Yes, it is. Ah, fuck him. Okay, we'll keep him around for a little bit longer. Look. Oh my goodness. This is perfect timing. This is perfect timing. It literally is. Okay, excellent. And we are going to convert them. And just now... Okay, well, eight days. It's a... It's... It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Okay. And we have a new mercenary company. And was that actually already enough? We already fulfilled our mission. Okay, interesting. Hmm... I don't know why. Uh, like technically on on my account we're only on four continents. North America, Europe, Africa, Asia. But I don't know, I'm not complaining. So yeah, spread the Funvetans. So now we gain diplomatic reputation, diplomatic annexation cost, improved relations, and this is the most important, the restoration of Union Castle Belly on the Commonwealth, which is something I will go for immediately. Um, except, we have another mission fulfilled. Oh, become king. We gain 33 prestige, that's actually pretty good, because we could use that. And some points. Saxony will never be seen as anything more than our second-rate power until we can claim for ourselves the title of king. Well, yeah, we're also the emperor, uh, but that's okay. I'll still go ahead and colonize this. I mean, why not? It's, it's still kind of fun. Or oh, maybe, actually, maybe it was because I started the colony. Maybe the colony counts. That could actually be the case as well. But yeah, um, Würzburg, you. Oh, you annexed, I believe, uh, it's not a free city. No, you annexed an elector. Great. So we have Brandenburg, Moravia, Würzburg, Salzburg, Trent. Hmm. I need a new elector. Well, first of all, 
Can you... I don't... How do I suddenly not have a diplomat? What do you mean? Okay. You have been returned. Grant electorate. Do I actually have... Oh, I have claims on these lands. Right. Um, hmm, hmm. So, who's going to be my new elector? Because we need one. So, let me quickly check the empire. We have basically Bohemia, Würzburg, Salzburg. Hmm, I could give it to Burgundy, but that would make them very powerful. Kind of would make sense, though, right? But then again, Austria never had. Uh, Austria is not an elector. I don't think I. N yeah, actually, probably that's not the smartest thing to do. Hmm. Who am I allied to? We could make Hainau into an elector. Or Württemberg. All of this is Austria. Grant an electorate to them. They're actually allied to Burgundy. You know what? Fine. I'll grant an electorate to you. Then they should be voting for us. Yeah, obviously. They do. Sure, you will get military access to fight Denmark. I don't think you really need it, but you'll get it anyways. And now, with this restoration of the Union Casus Belli, we could go ahead and declare war on the Commonwealth. Now, this is interesting. Uh, they will have Portugal on their side, as well as the Papal State. But we have Austria. Russia does not join. Hmm. Okay. Because they're in debt. Now, how many men does the Commonwealth have? Nope, this is the menu. I wanted to check the ledger. Army total. Commonwealth has more men. Austria, actually Austria has more men than we do, but Portugal, Portugal has 100,000 men as well. Portugal doesn't have a whole lot of manpower, they have a lot of mercenaries. We could use mercenaries too, I mean, that's always a possibility. The Papal State, they have 70,000, they only have 70,000 men, really? I mean, their tech is 20, 19. 20. Austria has 20 tech as well. I mean, Austria is pretty powerful. I think together with Austria, plus like our small allies, I think we're actually able to do this. Uh. What? The Portuguese. What do you mean? What do you mean? Why does Portuguese have that many troops? What? Oh, it's... I think it's Mexico and Brazil. They're not likely gonna be doing much though, right? Like, probably not? Plus, we'll be able to... I mean, I really would love Russia to join in. What if I... What if I prepare for war? They will give us only 20 reasons um, to join, and we need 120. So this is very unlikely to work, but I think, uh, you know what, I think we'll wait a little bit more. I need a little bit more manpower, um, because, yeah, it, it's just, I don't think that's really smart to attack right now. We'll have a couple of years. actually. When did we start our golden era? Oh, we should probably attack during that one, right? Mm. Conquer of Brandenburg. That's a good one. How long is this going to last? For another five years. Ugh. I would like to have that, obviously, as well. Where can I see my golden era? We'll last until December. Okay, we really don't have that much 
time left. I think we should just declare the war. And... Even then, they're not willing to join. You know what? I think we can do this. With Austria's help, take the capital of Warsaw. Let's do it. Let's just, you know, let's fuck it. Let's do it. All right, there we go. We're at war with the Commonwealth to restore our union. Um, let's move you over here. They have no fortif- Like, they don't actually have real fortresses, which is going to make things easier. Um, so we should be able to take them quickly. And we gain 60 diplomatic power. Spain's opinion likes us. Uh, sure, yeah, why not? Let's have Spain like us. Okay, move on. As quickly as we can. Let's wait for morale to be fully ticked up. Uh, maybe I don't need to. There we go, we destroyed. We won the first, the first battle of this war. Great. Yeah, I think um, the Commonwealth allies are just so far away that they're not going to be able to make much of a difference. I think that's just the, that's just the thing. Um, so I don't really need to be too worried about this. Um, we could technically go and take Warsaw immediately. Um, There you go. Actually, let's do this. We could technically be attacked. And in fact, we are, interestingly. Let's uh, slow down. Even if I believe we've got this war under control. Let's make sure that we don't get obliterated. Yeah, we should have this under control. Uh, okay, wow. Actually, never mind. The Commonwealth is hitting hard. Wow, I guess a cav is dealing a lot of damage. We're actually losing this. Oh, one of our generals just died. Now we're getting the reinforcements. I think just in. No, we lost. We lost, and we lost actually big. Oh, eleven thousand cannons. Oof, this was pretty bad. Especially because, yeah, look at this. To fully reinforce, yeah, I, th this was not good. But then again, I think this is the main army. Um, this is the. Uh, occupied by me, yeah, the, the the main Commonwealth army, and so. Oh, we have to actually wait here. All right, um, let's just send you guys out <clears throat> to capture these provinces. Um, they don't really have anything else. That was their one trick. They don't have more than that. Okay, spy network has been discovered. That's fine. We've taken Tuhola. And I'll be taking Plock next. You can take Danzig. And Warsaw's already on the siege. We do have Moldavia and the Papal State over here. They won't be able to force um, Austria out of the war. That's just not going to be possible. Okay, you can continue with your sieges. Oh, hello. Um, maybe I underestimated the Commonwealth. Now, you know, just looking at their forces. But they have almost no infantry. Uh, I think we're fine. I think we're fine. Plus, we can go for explore. Nah, I want, I want this. Tech cost reduction. And we can go for a new policy. Diplomatic reputation. National... Oh, national tax. Development cost. Force limit. Give me tax. And then... I guess we have this. Max promoted cultures. Why not? Okay, hey, we're reinforcing here, which really should make clear that we win. Perfect. These these were just cannons. So 
so it's all good. Um, Constance wants help. Sure. Oh, did I did I help them? Sent help. Yes. Okay. I was just. I thought hey, maybe maybe I said help them and then I clicked the other thing. But yeah, anyway, so this war seems to be going quite well. I mean, Austria's, yeah, being besieged, but it doesn't matter. As long as it's not their capital, they should be fine. Uh, we'll be taking over their capital, which is the war goal. And then, yeah, slowly but surely, we'll take over the Commonwealth. And then we'll have them as a personal union, which is going to be super strong. But yeah, for now, that was it for this episode. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys next time.